guitar enthusiasts in this lesson we're going to be going over the strumming pattern for paint it back by the rolling stones but i'm also going to be showing you step by step how to play that little intro lick that keith richards is playing throughout the song as well so let's get into the lesson So this lesson, we're not going to be using a capo. Sometimes Keith does use a capo, sometimes he doesn't. So we're going to be using the non-capo version. So the chords we're going to be playing are an E minor chord, a B7 chord. We're also going to be using a G major chord, a D major chord, and an A7 chord. Now in this lesson, I would recommend starting off the song with your E minor chord using the second and third fingers. The reason is this creates a pivot point between the B7 chord. So when you go from E minor to B7, you'll notice that my second finger doesn't even really have to move at all. You just keep it there and it creates a really nice pivot point. So if you guys know me, I love pivot points on chords, anything we can do to make these chord changes easier. Now, before I get into the little intro lick that comes throughout the song, let's talk about the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern is gonna be a simple eighth note pattern. We're gonna be doing all down strums and if I play an E minor chord, it's gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay, so all downs. Now, if you guys heard in the intro, I did a little extra spice over this and I did some palm muting. Now, you can surely play this song without it, you could just play the E minor. go E minor to B7 very easily, or you could do the palm muted version, which I'm gonna show you right here. So I'm gonna play an E minor chord and it's gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, then B7. And if you can see, I'm doing this by just placing my palm right in front of the bridge. You can hear it kind of warm up. And that's how we find our, our palm muting sounds. We've got, I see a red door and I wanna paint it black. No colors anymore, I want to turn them black. So that is the first part of the verse. You can do that palm muted or open, whichever is your preference. But we're gonna take the next part of the song. Everything's gonna open up here. So we've got some split measures coming in. So this next section, we're gonna go from an E minor chord to a D major. Then we're gonna go from a G major to a D. And all of those chords are splitting a measure. And what I would recommend for the strumming pattern here is to just go down, down, up switch to the next chord, down, down, up, switch to the next chord, down, down, up, then D, down, down, up. So all that together would be. Okay, one more time. And then at the end, we have two E minors on this first time through. So it's, you can either go back to open eighth notes or palm muted, whichever you prefer. One and two and three and four and, and then we're gonna go through that whole thing again with a different ending. Then it's gonna be E minor, D to G to D. Here comes A7, A7, B7. And I would do those as eighth notes. I just played them as quarter notes so that we could go through the chord progression. So if I take this verse from the top all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. No colors anymore, I want to paint them black. I see the girls walk by dressed in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head until the darkness goes. 
start right back into that E minor chord. So that's a great thing about this song, because once you learn one verse, you just basically repeat that all the way out. So let me show you step by step a way to play along with the little lead guitar riff that keeps coming in throughout the song. So if you probably noticed, the cool thing about this lick is that most of it is on one string. There's one note that's gonna go on the bottom high E string. So we're actually gonna start at the fifth fret on your guitar on the B string, okay? So that's our starting note. And we're gonna play five, seven, eight. Now, if you notice my fingers, it's almost like each finger gets its own fret. So five, six, seven, eight. If you guys are familiar with my spider exercise, okay, that'll be very helpful. So we're gonna go five, seven, eight. And then we're gonna bring the first finger down to the high E string, five. Okay, so we've got five, seven, eight, five. And then we're gonna come backwards, back to the B string, eight, seven, five. Okay, so all we've done, five, seven, eight on the B string, five on the high E string, and then backwards, eight, seven, five. Okay, that's the first half of the lick. The second half of the lick, we're gonna play that fifth fret again. We're gonna come back one fret to the fourth fret on the B string, back up to the fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, and then press down into that fret good because we're going to slide from five to four. Okay, you can always just pick it. You can go five, four. I like to slide. So the second half of the lick is five, four, five, seven, five, four. If we play this all the way from the beginning very slowly at first, it's going to sound like this. One, two, ready, and. And then you would just repeat that again. And now a little bit more up to speed. If you guys really enjoyed this simple lead guitar lick, I have a whole playlist over here of finger dexterity exercises that are all based on cool lead guitar licks like Crazy Train, Lean On Me, Dazed and Confused by Led Zeppelin. So click on that playlist over there to learn more fun licks.